TD CNC have travelled to Bromford Industries in Birmingham and I am here with Garth. Now, Garth, we're going to discuss the importance of work holding and the, the, the supplier, Brown and Holmes, for the bespoke fixtures that you use here. So, firstly, you know, why are you using Brown and Holmes? Um, yeah, we went to a number of fixture making people. Um, we've had a long history with Brown and Holmes. So before we used these fixtures, we had we evolved a relationship with them out of um, their consistent precision, um, their reliability with their delivery, and we learned to be able to depend on Brown and Holmes that they were able to do what they said they would do. So consequently, when we came to do some heavy investment in these fixtures, they were a natural choice for us to look at first of all. Now, the fixture behind you, now what components are you making with that fixture? It's a bespoke fixture, by the way, but what it component is. are you manufacturing with it? We're making critical rings that will go in uh, military and civil aircrafts. There's a collaboration, um, a partnership between GE and Snecma, Safran Aerospace, and we are making nine part numbers for this customer. Now, this hydraulic fixture behind you, you're actually gripping internally and then you're also using swivel clamps to pull the component down. That's correct. Now, what benefits are you getting from this particular fixture in regard to repeatability and accuracy? Right, okay. Now this is a great fixture. It's an idea that's come back from a very old idea brought up into a very modern idea. What we found with this fixture, it grips on the inside ball all the way around. It's because we are making thin wall section components, they're very easy to distort and pull out of shape. Holding it the way that we are holding it holds the, shape, the true shape of the part and clamping it down in a downward pressure rather than a external pressure allows us to not squash the job. And that's what we're looking for. We do not want to squash the job so that when we release it, it goes out of shape. Now you have many of these fixtures across the shop floor and you're currently using this fixture on the MU6300, the, right, the yeah. Akuma vertical lathe, but with fixed ax fifth axis capabilities. Yes. Now, in regards to putting the fixtures and loading the fixtures onto the machine, what mechanism are you using for this? Um, it's a, a work holding system called a ZPS, a ZPS system. We've never used it before. It was introduced to us by Brown and Holmes. What it allows us, it allows us to change between the six operations that we use to machine these parts very quickly. Um, it not only allows us to change it very quickly, but the repeatability is fantastic. We can hold our um, fixturing to between 10 and 15 microns quite easily with this system. So basically what you're saying it's a zero point location system is that correct? That's correct it's a zero point location system there's four zero um, ZPS studs in there one is a centralizing stud in the middle one's an equalizer and the other three help to clamp the fixture down. Now you have many machines in this fantastic facility does this mean that the fixtures are now interchangeable between machines? Yes very much so on this particular cell the Acuma cell we can we have 54 work holding fixtures to produce these parts and they can be interchanged from any machine that you want, any operation. And you also do not only the engine rings but landing gear here and you have multiple bespoke fixtures from Brown and Holmes on, on, on other machines. Now yeah. how has it helped you develop the process? Um, yes, okay, so we probably didn't start on this cell initially, it was on maybe landing systems, we also do work for other customers as well. Um, I think initially we started off with small work holding devices. We needed, the, the parts that come through require greater accuracy and so to evolve to where we are today we were forced to look at other work holding systems. This is one of the systems that came up. Now with components and fixtures like this where they're hydraulic, there's moving parts, the parts on this particular kind of fixture wear, and if so, what do you do about this? Yeah, good question. Um, we've had to learn the hard way. What we have now in place is what we call a service plan for these fixtures. Initially, we didn't have that, but you're quite right. These parts do wear. Um, what Brandon Holmes encouraged us to do was to take out a service plan with them 
and then they would change the moving parts or the workable parts that were important to the fixture that would move. What we do every nine months, uh, we have a rolling service plan that sends that fixture back out to Brown and Holmes. We set up a window um, where we can service that. They have it for a week or so. They return it back with the fixture service and then the next one goes out. Now, in the aerospace industry where there are so many demands in regards to lead times and price, you know, how, how important is the work holding to you guys in regards to the process? Well, it's absolutely crucial. If we don't, if that, particularly on our finishing fixtures, if we don't get that repeatability, any number of torrent sizes can be thrown out. So if that fixture doesn't repeat to what we expect it to, we could quite easily scrap the job. Once we scrap the job, yes, then with the pressures on us, we get behind time because we've promised our customer that particular part for that particular time. And when we've scrapped it, it might put us back three months um, to get back to that place where we can deliver that part. So, Garth, it's safe to say that the fixtures um, supplied from Brown and Holmes, they've not just supplied bespoke fixtures, but they've worked in co collaboration with Bromford Industries and, and they've grown with you as a company. Yeah, and that's what I like about working with Brown and Holmes. They've allowed us to um, evolve a working relationship. And part of that, to me anyway, is the trust side of it. So, yes, we've evolved... With these fixtures, we've been able to get involved in the design of it, how we want them held, the conditions and the stresses that we put them under. And Brown and Holmes are very open to our ideas as we are to them. So yes, very much appreciate the working relationship that has been involved with Brown and Holmes, one that's come out of trust. Thank you. Thank you, you're welcome.